Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I have another Divi tutorial for you, and again, this one is related to the Divi Blurb module. Now we're going to be adding a button to the blurb. So there's a, a title text and body text. We're gonna add the button down there in the body text. Now, you could do this by adding a blurb module and then a button module, but there are some situations where that's just not practical. Um, and so adding the button right there with all the blurb settings, you know, you might want the icon or the image or and the title and everything. Um, this allows you to do that. So we're gonna show you how to do it. Let's get started. All right, so this is pretty easy to do. Uh, we just have to, you know, follow a couple of little directions here. So we're gonna be going into our blurb settings. And then the kind of the key thing here when we're, we're actually adding an HTML link inside the text. And you can kind of see from this screenshot um, what we need to do. We need to go to the text tab. So the text tab, um, I don't know why it's really called text. It should just be called HTML because that's really what it is. So you have visual and when normally when you come in here, it'll be on visual. So you need to click text. And again, that's like HTML. So any code that you add in here will show up as like, it'll be, it'll look like code um, HTML. So what we need to do is, is here on the tutorial in our blog post, we need to copy this span tag and it says span and meaning it's surrounded. You can see it's, it's span on this end and then a closing span. And then inside that is an A tag. So you can see right there is the A. So it's starting A and then closing A. So that's an anchor link. So what it is, it's, it's um, a link and we're gonna style it as a button. So what we do is copy that and then we come over here and you can just um, enter, enter um, and right there, paste it. And that's how it's gonna look. You can see it says click here or here. Um, but what we're looking at here is this span tag. So the first thing is the href. So we need to have a link. So wherever you want that link to go, that's what you would type here. You know, most likely you would copy it. Um, so go to, you know, another website or whatever and find that. I'll just type something in here. So you'll have your link there. And then the next thing is a class. And right now I have it as PA blur button. And I mean, you could change that, but basically it's a custom class and we're using that so that we can style that specific button or any other, you know, if we do this on multiple blurbs, we'll be able to style it. Otherwise it's just going to look like that, a blue button or sorry, a blue link. We want it to look like a button, you know, have some padding, maybe a border background and like a hover effect. So that's why we're adding a custom class. And then the next part is it says click here. You might want to say whatever, something relevant to your blurb, you know, learn more, you know, whatever you said here, it's kind of like a call to action. You know, maybe you've given a description of a service that you offer, for example. And so, you know, you have your title and your text and then, you know, learn more or whatever it is, you can change it to whatever. So that's done um, in the blurb module, we're done there. The next thing is actually styling it like a button. So I have some CSS here in the blog post that will kind of get you started. And again, you know, it, you can do whatever you want with any of these values, like the color, you know, the background colors, the border, the padding, things like that. I even have a margin top to, to move it down a little. Um, so go ahead and copy that. I have instructions here where you could put this, you would put it in your theme options and um, your style.css file of your child theme. For, for the sake of demonstrating this, I'm going to my page settings, advanced tab, custom CSS. The reason I'm doing that is so you can see it live right now. So when I paste that in just like that, our link becomes styled like a button. It even has a hover effect. And again, what I did was just add a collar of white, a blue background, um, I added a two pixel border, some padding, again, that margin top, because without that, it kind of sits up too close, you know? So I move, move that down a little, um, and you could change that. You could, you know, whatever you think is, is a nice amount there. Um, the border radius, again, that, that could be changed. You might want them square. See that? You might want a square button. Um, or um, even the transition effect, how when it changes, it's like 0.3 seconds. But then we have the hover effect, and it's the same kind of concept where 
um, we're, we're adding just some values. We're making the background transparent and changing the color and back or the color and border to blue um, when we hover. Um, so that's pretty much it. Just like that, you can have a button inside there. And you know, an advantage of that is like if you had your your blurb styled a certain way, you know, you might want to you might have had it um, something like this. Actually, um, you'd probably have spacing. Um, if you did something like this, right? So you wanted to have your blurb styled a certain way like that, but you wanted a button in there. Well, there you go. That's the perfect use case for it. And you could, you know, you could certainly um, change this to an icon, whatever, you know, change your settings. You don't need to use either. Whatever, it's up to you. Style the, the, blog, uh, the blurb however you want, like normal. The main thing I wanted to show you is give you this base to get you started and you can add a button. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, can we make it full width? We should be able to just go in here um, and add a width. Let me just do that real quick with 100%. There you go. And, and you can see that the alignment is kind of off. So let's do text align like that and then center. And look at that. Now you have a button that's centered and I didn't put that in the code, but there you go. Bonus for watching the video. Um, so yeah, I think it looks great. Very practical, very useful. Um, and you could do this multiple times. You know, I could copy this like this here. And, and I, I could even have one button be different. And if you wanted to do that, you would change the class. You know, I might say PA blur button two, you know, or something. And then you would just have to make sure that you would have a second set of CSS that has, you know, number two like that, if that's what you're going to do. So you'd have sets of it for each button. All right. So there you go. Now you know how to add a button to the Divi blur module. If you found that useful, then this is what we do here on this channel. You might want to consider subscribing so that you get all of these every single Tuesday. Um, every Tuesday we've been releasing tutorials for the past year or two. And that's what we're going to keep doing. We have hundreds of them planned. Yes, I really do. Um, so we, we're, we're planning a long way in the future. So if you like this and you use Divi, then be sure you're subscribed. And we'll see you all in our next video.